Hi, my name is Crystal Fletcher and welcome to All About Canadian Books. In this segment, we will get to know author Nat Nancy Lamb. She is the author of The Loyal Daughter. You can see it right there. It's a gorgeous cover and it was published by At Bay Press. And it is Nancy's mother's immigration story to Canada. It's told from the perspectives of mother, daughter, and granddaughter. And it spans all the way from communist China in the 1940s, Hong Kong, to the present day. And it's a great book. I really enjoyed it and highly recommend it. Nancy, welcome to All About Canadian Books. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Oh, it's it's my pleasure. And it was such a pleasure to read The Loyal Daughter because, you know, we really get to know your mom and your mom is a force. Can you tell viewers a bit about your mom? Okay, well, I just want to mention it is a fictionalized account, right? (laughs) (laughs) Some of the things I just didn't know and some of it didn't flow. So... (laughs) Uh, she was, uh, she immigrated to Canada back in the 60s mm-hmm. and she was, she left her entire family and married a man that she met via photograph and so met him and then seven, of, you know, a couple of weeks later she was married to him in North Bay, Ontario. Yeah. Incredible, North Bay. Yeah, I know, of all places, right? <laughs> And then she made her life here. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And your mother, I mean, she, she was such a force, you know, and you so clearly depict her in your novel, like, and just everything from even sewing her own underwear and nothing went to waste. Like she was, she was, she was a force. <laughs> she was some, <laughs> just a little bit different. <laughs> oh, I just, I, I just really fell under her spell. Lovely. I'm so happy to hear that. Yeah. One of my um, greatest fears, I guess, when she passed away and when I started writing was that she wouldn't be remembered. So to know that people like yourself find her interesting and are reading about her and, you know, laughing and, and sort of like admiring her to some extent is uh it's very heartwarming for me oh yeah I mean resilient talk about resilient and working so hard for her family and a better life like she I mean she was she was incredible um and you say Nancy um your mother passed away almost a decade at now and you said that losing her sucked away a part of my soul how did writing this fictional memoir how did it help you deal with your grief as well as celebrate your mom's life thank you for that question uh yeah it did it really sorry (laughs) oh that's okay yeah yeah it um it really was beautiful um it was it was just sort of a surprise, even though it wasn't a surprise when she was gone and always too early, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, writing writing about her and writing writing what she said down so that you know the next generation would have it reminded me or kept her close to me in in some way. Um, it was just, uh, it was just really a tough time. So writing about it helped a lot. It just, uh, it just, it was for me for a lot of it. Right. Um, that's why it took so long to write the bloody thing. (laughs) (laughs) Um, And, and I didn't ever envision that it would become a book per se. I just wanted to write it out. I was just writing it out. Right. And then as it, changed and morphed and I was trying to fill in pieces it became a creative process more of a creative process Uh, yeah 
And I was hoping you could expand a, a little more upon because it you do call it a fictional memoir, which I, I think is just so great. Can you expand a little more on that? We I know you mentioned it earlier, but I just think it's really interesting that you've that you've positioned it this way. Um, yeah, I well, there were so many parts obviously that I wrote about that I don't I don't know. Like I can't, there's no there's no record of it or anything. Right. So it's just what I sort of pieced together. So I had to create parts to fill in the gap and to unify the stories a bit uh, it, because my mom did tell me stories a lot, but they were just and they're snippets. Yeah. And again, through the lens of anyone, it is a story. So I don't know how much is factual, how much is embellished even, right? <laughs> because even when I tell something, it could be embellished about my, you know, walk to the park. It could be completely <laughs> embellished. But so I took what was what I remembered and I filled in what I thought and I researched certain areas, right? So I could fill it in more accurately or what I would think would be more accurate. Yeah. And that way I was able to piece together this, the stories into more cohesion. Otherwise it would have just been, you know, snippets. Yeah. I thought yeah. it started out, right. Just snippets that didn't make sense together. Yeah. Yeah. So. And you, you'd mentioned in the book that your, your mother never went back to China. No, never. No. And have you been able to, um, have had the opportunity to go visit your mother's tracers foot, footsteps or her route to get here no actually I've never been to China or Hong Kong you're a step ahead of me you've been <laughs> a couple of years no I've never been yeah, yeah yeah um maybe in the future maybe at some yeah. point but uh yeah. no, not I thought and I act I thought you had been because it feels like when you write about your mom's time in China <laughs> it feels like you were there yeah, that um, you had been there. So <laughs> only, only because she just some of the like she told a few stories were more than once, right? Yeah, and it was almost like I could picture it, and that's how I think. Like when I write, I picture it, right? Yes, yeah. So that's how I pictured it from all the times that she told me. Well, for the parts that I knew, and then I researched it, so that helped. <laughs> yeah, no, it, it really it really comes across. So yeah, that's interesting. Um, and one of the things I kept thinking when I was reading the book would, like Nancy, what would your mom say about you telling her story? What would she say? One, she'd probably say, you didn't get it right. <laughs> <laughs> I see all the flaws. <laughs> And it's like, why are you writing about that stuff? <laughs> I don't think you should be speaking about that. <laughs> it's a big, it's a big Asian thing, right? Like, don't talk about it. It's private. It's whatever. But I wasn't doing it to sort of. Um, I'm not trying to do a big reveal or anything, but I do think some of the parts are important and some of the themes are important. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to just to share some of those themes to, to let people know, Hey, you're sort of not alone, right? Everyone, there's some connections between people and immigrants, but mom probably would say, ah, what are you talking about that stuff for? <laughs> <laughs> and then she'd probably say, well, if you're going to do it, do it right. <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what else she would say. I really don't. Yeah. Um, let's see here. And your, your book does touch upon a lot of themes, you know, in particular, you know, the immigrant story and how hard, uh, immigrants work to succeed in Canada. You know, it's, it's, it's about the dream for a better life and, and all the resiliency that comes through. What, what, what would you like readers to take away, like from, from your mom's story? It's important to keep your eye on the ball, right? If you want something. And also, um, I, she loved Canada. She believed like there was a lot of good here. Like we got a lot of things here that we wouldn't have been able to get in another country. Yeah. And so uh, those are two things. And the third, I guess, would be 
Um, stories are important, right? Especially these types of stories. They're important if not for public consumption, then at least for your own family. Mm -hmm. So you should know your history, right? Know your own history because it's part of who you are. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. That's such a, a, I think a lovely way to end off with that, with that sentiment. Yeah. It is important to know where we come from and to know our history. Thank you so much, Nancy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. And viewers, I'm going to hold up it again. It's The Loyal Daughter by Nancy Lamb. It's an incredible fictional, fictional memoir. Thank you for being a fabulous guest on All About Canadian Books, Nancy. Thank you, viewers. Thanks so much, Crystal. Pleasure, pleasure. Bye, everyone. <laughs>